Hello everyone, welcome back to Code Campus. I'm Audrija and today we are going to dive into a fun and simple Python project creating a rock paper scissor game. I will walk you through the code step by step so you can understand how it works and even make your own version. So let's get started. This is our first project in Cypherbyte Technologies Python Programming Internship. Now here's the code. At first we have imported the libraries like we start by importing the random module. This will help us generate random choices for the computer. Next, we define the winner function. The function determines the outcome of the game based on the player's choice and the computer's choice. Next, here is a tie condition. If both the player and the computer make the same choice, the game is a tie. Next, we have the winning conditions. This checks if the player's choice beats the computer's choice. For instance, Rock beats scissor, paper beats rock, and scissor beat paper. If any of these conditions are met, the player wins. Next, this is the losing condition. If the player's choice does not result in a tie or a win, then the player loses and the computer wins. Next, we have defined the play function. This function handles the main gameplay loop where the player and the computer make their choices. Next, we have the computer's choice. Here we define the possible choices and use the random.choice function to randomly select one of the options for the computer. Next, we have taken the player's input. We prompt the player to enter their choice and convert it to lowercase to ensure consistency. Next, we have checked the input validation. It checks if the player's input is valid. If not, it asks the player to choose again by calling the play function recursively. Next, we have displayed the choices and the winner. If the input is valid, it displays both the choices and calls the winner function to determine the outcome. Next, we have a welcome message when the game starts. Now, there is a game start prompt. This asks the player if they want to start the game. Now, this is a game loop. If the player wants to start the game, it enters the loop where the play function is called. And after each game, it asks if the player wants to play a game. Now, finally, this is the end message. When the player chooses not to play anymore, it thanks the player for playing. Now, there is a demo execution of the game. That's it for a rock paper scissor game in Python. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more coding tutorials from Code Campus. See you next time.